Okay, hello everyone, I'm Katsupa. Uh, I upload a live commentary of the competitive programming. And this time I will upload the live commentary. Um, at the code, the beginner's code is not 165166 today. Whatever. Uh, and this, the concept of this, my commentary, is to share how I came up with the, some ideas rather than what I came up with. So I try to output everything thinking from my mouse. And this is not a tutorial, so if you want a clean tutorial, please access the official uh, editorial. And uh, about language, uh, I upload Japanese commentary and English commentary alternately. So this time is English. Next time I will upload Japanese, so please forgive me. And I will use Python for easier problems of article the beginner's contest. And otherwise I will use C++. And the contest have begun. So let's solve these six problems. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And the problem A is A question mark C. Statement. Art Coder Inc. holds a contest every Saturday. Today is Sunday. And there are two types of contests called ABC and ARC. And just one of them is held at the time. Uh, the con company holds these two types of contests alternately. And ARC follows an ABC and vice versa. And given a string S representing the type of the contest held at last week, so print the next, uh, the, this, uh, the type of the contest held this week. So if we get ABC, print the ARC, and otherwise, uh, vice versa. Uh, so it's very easy. Uh, I use Emacs as an editor. Uh, a pi. So get input. Oh no no, just compare input and A B C or A R C. So if I got A R C, print A B C. Otherwise, print A R C. Okay. So and let check with um I don't know. Let check with the sample input and output. 8 pi, what was this one? ABC and get ARC. Great, and get input ARC. Oh no. Uh, what's once again? If we got ARC, we want to output ABC. Oh, yes, I did it. ABC. Okay, so let's. Submit this code. The longest is Python because this is easy. Submit. No, okay, so next problem B. Trick or treat. Um, N snooks called snooke one, snooke two, snooke n, um, and live in a town. And there are k kinds of snacks sold in town called snack, snack one, snack two, two, snack k. Uh, the following D I snooks have Snack I, Snook AI one. So okay, and Takahashi will walk around this town and make mischief on the Snooks who have no snack. How many Snooks will fall victim to Takahashi's mischief? Um. Okay, so we get the who has what kind of snacks. And just count the snooks that doesn't have any snacks. Okay, so just calculate for each snook how many snacks they have. Uh, he have. Okay. Uh, in fact, snook is English uh, way to read the S A N U K E. In Japan, he was called snooke. And B the pi. Get n and k. And input split. And get d, d, d and d integers. And then time. Do that n times. Okay. So for i range n, do n times. First get d. And next get d items. Uh, is A's and then A's is uh, map 
no, list of map of int of input state. And for a in as, this is who uh, the snoo who has the snack one as snack. Yeah, so just at count a plus one. So let's initialize count with the zero list two times. And oh, okay, so you have to be take care of is it one index or zero index? And this is one index. So in such a case, there is two ways to deal with. Uh, take larger list or convert the index into zero index like this yeah, whichever you want you can do it and finally what you have to do uh, I have to output the number of snooks that doesn't have any uh, snacks of all ah easy way no not easy way in this case we have to do like this and print uh, a dot count no, no count dot count zero the number of zero in the count is the answer b pi uh, this one must output one how it goes oh uh, what's going on uh, ah this is not n this is bk uh, uh, no, no, no. And yes, okay. I got one in this case. Something with two, you have to get two. Yes, I did. So let's submit this one. Number is Python. Submit. And how was A? A, C. Good. Next problem C. Peaks. Uh, statement is there are n observations in that quarter hill called ops 1, 2 to n. and Elevation of ops i is h i. There are also m rows, uh, each connect, uh, each connecting two different observations. Okay, this is uh, this is a graph with, with some values for the nodes. Yeah. Ops uh, ops i is said to be good when its elevations are higher than those of all observation that can be reached from ops. The most high in connected component. I ah no, no using just one round so neighbors. Uh, note that ops i is also good when no observatory can be reached from ops i using just one road. How many good observatories are there? So um okay so let's. Draw some picture. For example, if one there is four nodes, each node has the same elevation as uh, their index, and there is three edge one three two three and two four. One three two three and two four. One three and two three and two four. Okay, and I think it's two. Why two? It's because one has three as a neighbor and is not higher than him, so it's not good. Three has a two neighbor, one and two. And then three is uh, one and two are less than three, so it's it's good. And two is not good because three is higher than two, and four is also good. Okay, so there's two good nodes. Okay, and. This uh, h must be duplicate, so this is important. The, it it must be ex uh, higher, strictly higher than others. It it means the same was not allowed. Okay, so I have to be careful about that. But that's all. Well, we can do what uh, the problem seven says. Just check all nodes and uh, check all neighbors of them. All and check is it good or not we don't have to use any better algorithms or smart thing because um, by uh, by graph theory we know that the the sum of degrees of 
nodes of graphs are the same as the twice of the number of edges. Okay, that means we don't have to care about the complexity. Uh, so get n m, get n m and h is and a b n times. Okay, uh, m times. And then map int input and split. H s is a list of map of int input. Split. Okay, and we have to get m times for i range m. Uh, okay, so let's get uh, let's prepare for uh, adjacency list. So edge is n empty no uh, empty list so for in n for underscore in n and okay so we have to care about the index one index of zero index okay it begins from one so but we want to use one index because the, the index of the list begin from zero so just convert them get a and b map in input split what is zero, zero index and add edge a to append b and edge b to append a. So after that, for i for node in range n for each node, we have to check the neighbors for uh, nave. Uh, so is it good? Let's do this variable. We say is this good or not? Not first. We initialize with true. True must be applied. Uh, and neighbor in edge node a for neighbor in edge node. If um edge edge node is higher, not higher than neighbor. That means it's not good, so good the change good as false. And if it's good for all neighbor uh, count increment the count. So let's introduce count with zero. And just output count after all. So there's no H? Oh yeah yeah. The name of the H is not H, the H is Okay it's I think it's fine, so let's test with it. C. Uh, this mess out for two. That goes. Oh, this is error. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, so, line four has an error. Edge. Edge does. Ah, yeah, yeah. Range. You forgot the range. And same thing. Get got two. Great. Next sample. This will have three. It goes. Okay, it's good. So just I'll put this with Python. Go. No? Okay, so next problem. D. I hate factorization. Oh me too. Um give a pair of integers A and B such that uh integer five integer fifth and B fifth equal to X. It's guaranteed that there is such a pair of t for the given integer x. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so at first we want to do brute force. So let's check tests every a and every b. Um, but it it doesn't work because x is too large. Oh really? I don't think so. So it, uh, yeah, it's too large. Too large, but the important thing is. The eight and fifth is, uh, oh, no, no, no. There's no important things around there. Um, uh, so what should we do? Uh, oh, and yeah, yeah. B may be negative. Uh, A or B may be negative. So this is not easy. Hmm. What you know? Um. The. Difference between a fifths and b fifths. Uh, 
Oh, okay, so let's calculate the difference between the two neighboring integers, the, the fifth of two neighboring integers. So I want to calculate the difference between this and this. And this is easy. This is a really simple algebra. Uh, yeah, one, 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 two, one, one, three, three, one, one, four, six, one, y, five, ten, ten, five, one. So this must be the equation. And uh, so a five, a four, ten, a ten, a square, five, a plus one is the difference. So that means it's larger than a force. And that means equal to x means this value is larger than this. That means uh, the a must be moved between the force root the absolute value of x is smaller than this and oh no 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 absolute value of a must be smaller than this and that means x x um x x is smaller than 10 to 9 and so that means this value is almost like hundred of not not no more than thousands. So we can brute force A and B between thousands, thousands, uh, thousands. Hmm. And get X and just brute force X. For a in range thousand thousand, or b in range thousand two thousand. If a to the five minus b to the five, go to x, print a b and exit. Okay, let's check. It's three. Whoa. It took time. Maybe thousand is too big. Maybe two hundred. Maybe works well. Thousand? No, thirty three. I don't want a minus two. And it, that's correct. It's one. Okay. So let's submit this. Uh, really 200? Good. What is this exact value of this? Uh, let's calculate. Oh, let's buy then. Yay. Uh, divide 2 to 9 by 5 and take the fourth root. So that means take the power of the 0 0.25. And this is. Oh, okay. So I, I think it, it's. The two hundred is good parameter. So we just submit this button. Good. Let's go. And see what's AC. Great. Okay. Uh, so I will cut this video out here. And oh, okay. Let's. Uh, let's see. I will cut this video out here, and I take uh, the new video for E and F. Okay. So bye for a while. Thank you for. Thank you.